Praise the Lord Church. Today's Bible meditation is taken from 2 Samuel chapters 11 and 12, 1 Chronicles chapter 20. In these chapters, the key takeaway is one day sin will be exposed. 2 Samuel chapter 11 verse 27. When the time of mourning was over, David sent servants and had her brought to his house, and she became his wife. Then she bore him a son, but the thing that David had done was evil in the sight of the Lord. 2 Samuel chapter 12 verses 7 through 13 and 24. Then the Lord sent Nathan to David, and he came to him and said, There were two men in a city, the one wealthy and the other poor. Nathan then said to David, You yourself are the man. This is what the Lord, the God of Israel says. It is I who anointed you as king over Israel, and it is I who rescued you from the hand of Saul. I also gave you your master's house and put your master's wives into your care, and I gave you the house of Israel and Judah. And if that had been too little, I would have added to you many more things like these. Why have you despised the word of the Lord by doing evil in his sight? You have struck and killed Uriah the Hittite with the sword. You have taken his wife as your wife, and you have slaughtered him with the sword of the sons of Ammon. Then David said to Nathan, I have sinned against the Lord. And Nathan said to David, The Lord also has allowed your sin to pass. You shall not die. Then David comforted his wife Bathsheba, and she gave birth to a son, and he named him Solomon. And the Lord loved him. God the Almighty is the one who forgives us when we return to him in repentance. God is holy and every motive of man's heart and action of a person should be aligned to God's word and his truth. God's word reveals to us our boundaries to behave, our code of conduct and alignment of our motives according to God's word, will and truth. David, a shepherd boy, made a king was blessed in every way but he missed the mark and tried to sweep the sin under the carpet however god exposed his sin with bathsheba and uriah through prophet nathan in the new testament jesus in his own words mentions in luke chapter 12 verses 2 and 3 but there is nothing covered up that will not be revealed and hidden that will not be known Accordingly whatever you have said in the dark will be heard in the light and what you have whispered in the inner rooms will be proclaimed on the housetops We can hide from people but if we won't repent and return to our forgiving God almighty there will come a day when we have to face judgment of living in burning fire or glorious heaven Today is the day let's repent of our sins be washed with the precious blood of Jesus Christ and invite God the Holy Spirit to live inside of us to be sanctified daily and walk a blameless life praise be to our wonder working god in jesus name amen thank you for watching the videos and being part of living god community god bless you all abundantly